Summer Creek High School, Hogwarts at the Creek. Today, we had two elementary campuses, and they came and experienced the STEAM offerings we have here at Summer Creek High School. How expensive was just this room? Yeah. The LED is five door shining. That's what holds wheels in the corners. And this is how we remove it. How many points do you see here? Yeah, who knows what shape that is? Hexagon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the lug nuts inside of there. You are truly a wizard. <laughs> You're not a change of tire. Uh, Timbers, we just got a 3D printer this year. So um, we, we heard about the tiny house project here at Summer Creek and we wanted to come look at um, some of the ways that they've done projects and that, how that went into service learning. Originally, it was just her bringing her kids here to look at the 3D printer. I was like, you know what, we can do more than that. And I know we have uh, Tiny Homes Project Architecture doing their thing. We have aquatic robotics. We've got art. We've got journalism. We have, we have so much to offer. Our, um, and I reached out to this teachers. Hey, how about how, how would you like to set up a little steam camp for these students, and we can you know transform our school into Hogwarts? And I, with the blessing with the, the administrators and just all the teachers, just jumped on board. And the students got involved at the high school, and the teachers, and now we have this whole Hogwarts experience for our kids to experience some steam-based learning and to maybe get some ideas of things they might want to do in the future. Whenever we walked into the room, I thought it would be way different. Like this is way cooler than I thought. We went to the arts room and we got to make mini broomsticks out of scrap paper um, and light sticks. My favorite thing was probably the photography because th that's what that now I know what I want to do. It's just like just cool to take pictures of it like to capture the moment. Like you can do help your school with a yearbook or do the newspaper or something. I got to be with the children today. I think that was the best part because you know we're in high school we don't particularly get to see the kids anymore and it was very fun to see them and go along the school with them. One, two, three! Blue Rose! Perfect! It would not have been the same field trip without the, the actual students getting involved because they were the ones that are really showcasing and teaching and leading our groups around and I think our kids were just in awe and looking up to them and thinking about how they're going to get to do this one day when they're in high school. The blend of high school and elementary, I've always wanted to transcend just, we're not an island, we are a community here at Humble, and we should be reaching out to other campuses and finding ways to learn from each other. So technically you're still stupefied. Yeah, I'm stupefied. It's impossible! There's no... Nothing's impossible when you believe. <laughs>